Greetings everybody, Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Somebody sent me an interesting article uh, about the uh, coming uh, shot in the arm, so to speak. And uh, in it, they said that the... Uh, It'll probably be a three-dose thing. Everybody will get the first dose and no problems. Everybody feels fine. No adverse, really, you know, very few probably have an adverse reaction. But the thing is, it'll be the second and or the third. I'm, the way I read it, it sounds like there's going to be a, a three-parter. And the first shot will be fine. The second shot will be fine. But the two chemicals will bind to each other and react. Then when you get the third shot, that's the one that activates the bad happening. Yeah. It'll do something and uh, cause... That's when all the, the bad stuff happens. So, I don't know. It was uh, beyond my level of understanding and I've taken some medical I have some medical and biological training in college and stuff but uh, this was way beyond mine and you gotta realize something this is fa probably fallen angel um, technology those evil beings that want us dead and you gotta realize something uh, Lord's gonna allow this to happen um, you know, read the book of Jeremiah. Read the book of Lamentations of Jeremiah. And, you know, America is... America cannot possibly be any better than Jerusalem was back in the days. Possibly even worse. Uh, spiritually, everything. I. It's just, you know... I. I, I just don't know how so many people can go to church on a Sunday, I'm thinking, what is that to them? Is that fire insurance against going to hell? Is, is that what that is? Just fire insurance? They think you throw a couple bucks in the collection plate and, hey, you know, okay, I'm, I'm good to go. My pastor said, you know, I said my little sinner's prayer, so no problem, you know. I mean... You know, like the previous video I did about tolerance. You know, tolerance is like weeds in the garden. If you don't pull up the weeds in the garden, they spread. And the next thing you know, you got a garden full of weeds. And nothing good, you know, no good wheat, no bread, no nothing to eat. Just useless weeds. And that's pretty much what... America is nowadays weeds. Um, it's just unbelievable. But now I'm not saying this is true. It's just an article um, that I've read, and I don't. I'm not even sure where they got this article from. There was no uh, link. But you know, nothing, nothing surprises me. A lot of people think that the 1918 swan. Uh, Spanish so-called flu epidemic was from the vaccines because it was mostly military people that got it. I mean, think about it. It was mostly military people. And that was just when they started doing uh, the beginning of them doing the vax with the military. That was the beginning of it. So I don't know how true it is, but all I know is there is a group of people, and if you don't believe me, you can go through my Genesis 6 playlist, The Angels That Sinned. There's a whole group of people that would like nothing better than see all Christians dead. You know, the Bible records that God wanted the Canaanites exterminated. And it wasn't a suggestion, it was a command. 
Matter of fact, let's take a look at that real quick. Now, I did a video on this, Numbers 33. It's a prophecy. Uh, let's see, verse chapter 33, Numbers chapter 33 and verse 51. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them, When ye are passed over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you and destroy all their pictures and destroy all their molten images and quite pluck down all their high places. Now, I want you to think about this, the high places. What is all these pyramids all over the world? Uh, the largest pyramid in the world is found in the uh, one of the de uh, the desert in China. Matter of fact, they only discovered it uh, during World War II. Uh, some planes flew over it and took a picture, and uh, they were like, "Wow, what's this? You know, it's it's huge. It's the largest one in the world. I, if memory serves me correctly, it's three times larger than the one in Egypt. Although I could be wrong." But it's larger than the one in Egypt. And then in, I think, 1947 or 48, World War II ended in 45, uh, the end of 1945. But by 47 and 48, the communists had taken over in China and wouldn't allow anybody to take a look at this pyramid. But you find pyramids all over the world. They're in South America, they're in Mexico, um, I hear there's one in um, Illinois. It's not made out of stone. It's made out of dirt, but still, it's a pyramid. And um, they were uh, evidently building their stairway to heaven. Think about it. Now, uh, personally, I think all these pyramids are uh, were made to worship the fallen angels. Ah, uh, that's what it seems like to me. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. And uh, evidently, the some of these uh, some of these uh, I don't know what you'd call them. They're not buildings, but uh, I mean, they the architecture of these things is very advanced. I mean, I, I don't even know if we have the technology to build the, uh, the Great Pyramid in Egypt. Uh, what is it? Giza, I think it's called. I don't, I don't even know if we have the technology to do that. There's a, a, a rock in Lebanon called, uh, what do they call it? The Pregnant Woman or something, in, uh, Baalbek, B-A-A-L, name of a false god. Baalbek, Lebanon. And I heard it weighs... 2,000 tons. And how did you get a crane in there thousands of years ago to pick this thing up and move it? I mean, it's just incredible. So how do they do this? You know, it's just, uh, uh, it's kind of like almost forbidden knowledge. And they hide this stuff. They never teach you about any of this stuff in school. And uh, the only time they'll ever show you this is like, oh, ancient aliens, you know, like the UFOs came down and built these pyramids for us or whatever. It's, I don't know. But the point is, these, um, I think they were building their little stairway to heaven, just like uh, the Tower of Babel, Babel, whatever, and uh, to worship the fallen angels. And a lot of these things were tied in with human sacrifice, just like what the Aztecs used to do. And I heard the Mayans and the Incas down in uh, South America and what have you. Um, I don't know how much is of the stories are true. Uh, I don't exactly trust everything the Spaniards uh put out as history, but they recorded that they were doing human sacrifice. I, I don't know. I really don't.
Spanish were not exactly a, uh, a very trustworthy group, if you ask me. But, uh, you know, here it is recorded in numbers that the Canaanites were doing, worshiping in the high places. I mean, that's why it says, pluck down all their high places. Verse 53. So they wanted, the Lord wanted them to destroy the pictures, destroy the images, just knock down the high places. Verse 53. Oh, and by the way, what do we got on the uh, our dollar bill? A pyramid. Gee, I wonder why. Who's at the top of the pyramid? The all-seeing eye of Freemasonry. I mean, you know, and people look at you like you're nuts. I mean, this stuff is so in your face. The word occult, as in reference to witchcraft and what have you, was, it, occult means hidden. Well, it's not hidden anymore. It's out in the open. I guess you can't even call it a cult anymore. Just, you know, what it is. Witchcraft or whatever. Sorcery. So. All right. So, supposed to destroy their pictures, destroy their molten images, throw down their high places. Verse 53. Numbers 33, 53. And ye shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land and dwell therein, for I have given you the land to possess it. And ye shall divide the land by lot for an inheritance among your families, and to the more ye shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer ye shall give the less inheritance. Every man's inheritance shall be in the place wherein his lot falleth, according to the tribes of your fathers ye shall in inherit. Now listen to this carefully. Verse 55. But if ye will not, but if ye will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass that those which ye let remain of them shall be pricks in your eyes and thorns in your sides and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. Moreover, it shall come to pass that I shall do unto you as I thought to do unto them. So, instead of exterminating the Canaanites, Israel married them. They must have had some good-looking women. That's all I can say. But, you know. So, the thing is, are there people running around calling themselves Canaanites today? No. What do they call themselves? Uh, probably... Christians, Arabs, Muslims, and Jews, I, as far as I know. I bet you there's a more than a few on a, a TBN. I bet you. Well, I'm not really a gambler, but, you know, we'll find out one day. So, are we going to trust our bodies and health to um, these devils? Think about it. Think about it very carefully. You know, the thing is, everybody will get the first shot and no problems. And, you know, all your fam un unbelieving family members will say, oh, well, you know, you can't get a job and you can't travel and you can't go here and you can't go there. And, you know, um, you can't go to the hospital without the thing. And, you you know, you, you just, you know, can't go to the post office. You're going to have to have it. And there's no problems. But maybe the second or and or third one will be the problem. I don't know. But then again, they got more ways to get rid of us than that. So, you know, they got the G whiz one, two, three, four, five, and the the things are spraying in the sky and the food and the poison food and the poison water and the poison air and you know, it's not a happy time to be alive, but you got to realize something. Lord's allowing all this to happen. And um, not only that, America deserves her medicine. You know, really, you think about it. There's, none, there's no telling how many abortions, how much witchcraft, 
I mean, you know, when the Harry Potter witchcraft series, excuse me, uh, outsells the Bible for at least one year, something is wrong. And, you know, I think it was Billy Graham came out and said, I think it was Billy Graham said, well, you know, I think people reading Harry Potter is okay because, you know, it teaches good and evil. Yeah, the, the good witches are fighting the bad witches. Uh, and the Bible says, uh, kill all the witches. There is no good witch. Yeah, and they taught us that garbage in, uh, what was it, the Wizard of Oz? You know, oh, the wicked witch of the West and the good witch of the East or whatever it was. I don't remember. I never really liked that show or movie or whatever. I never cared for any of that stuff, even as a kid. Um, so, you know, it's just something to think about. And those of you that have young children, I feel for you. I really do. And you ladies with unbelieving spouses, I feel for you too. And you guys with unbelieving spouses, yeah, I, you know. Uh, so, um, and one more thing. Whoever sent me this, S, uh, this USB drive, let me know who you are. I have... I got a USB drive from Amazon, and I have no idea who it belongs to. Let me know. There's not much I, you know, no idea here. <laughs> so, you know, uh, yeah. Send me an email, palmbeachweddings at gmail.com. Say, yeah, Bob, I sent that to you. Send it, give it to me. I got all the stuff, uh transferred on it but i don't know who to send it to so all right well just something to think about everybody you know it's just i cannot believe um all the occult stuff that's just in plain sight anymore uh just a little something you should know my the first year that i came to the lord um i knew how bad the churches were just from when I was a kid and used to believe, when I was a young, young teen in middle school, I think, what was it, eighth, yeah, eighth grade, I believed in the Lord. I absolutely did. Ninth grade, too. And uh, until I got to high school. And, uh, and then the devil will always send somebody your way to uh, mess things up. But I was watching Sunday morning TV, television preachers, and I even, even as a, a middle school kid or junior high school kid back then, I knew there were a bunch of frauds, and that was one of the things that made, made me think, you know, oh, this is a bunch of garbage, you know, but, uh, you know, that was one of the reasons why it made me throw my faith away, but even then, I realized the Lord was protecting me. I look back and I can think of so many different things. You know, I've had people say, oh, Bob, you should do your story, you know, but it's not about me. It's about, you know, it's about Jesus. He's going to protect his small flock. Believe me, he's going to. But we have to be strong. We have to be faithful and uh, trust in him. You know, most people don't even believe that uh, there's tares. You know, read the parable of the wheat and the tares. The enemy that sowed the tares was the devil. People think, oh, well, that's just spiritual. Well, that's the problem today. They don't believe. You know, when the Bible is literal, they think they spiritualize it. When it's spiritual, they try to make it literal. And sometimes... It's a figure of speech, but it has a direct application. And it's just learning how to differentiate, differentiate those things. And you're not going to read it one time and get it and understand it all. It, it, you know, that's why the Bible says to study to show thyself approved unto God, 
a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And the Baptists love to throw that out there and write a whole book on a, a word that appears four times in the Bible, dispensation. Yeah, and then they chop the Bible up into all these different time periods when dispensation has nothing to do with a period of time. It has reference to do with giving. As in Moses was given the law and Christ gave grace. There's only two dispensations. It's called the Old and the New Testaments, or the Old Covenant and the New Covenant. That's what the dispensation's all about, so... Oh, I don't know. But uh, all we can do is warn the sheep. All I know is the devil has kids who are working very hard to kill us off. And we got to do our best to protect our families and friends. And... Uh, you know, the thing is, once they get sick and start dying, it's, you know, it's too late. But, you know, you could just look at them and say, hey, I tried to warn you, but, you know. You know, the Lord said when, when his people went into the land, exterminate the Canaanites, kill everything that breatheth. Instead, they married them. Yeah. Boy, look at that hot little thing over there. I think I'm going to go check her out. Go talk to her, you know. You know, there was a reason why the Lord says, make no marriages with them. Don't take their sons for your daughters. Don't take their daughters for your sons. And everybody's like, oh, well, that's just because they didn't know God. They were evil. Well, there's more to it than that. You know, there's a reason why the genealogies were in the Bible. There's a reason for that. And none of the Canaanites were ever, ever, ever shown as a bloodline for salvation. And yes, I know, Simon is called a Canaanite. But was he a bloodline Canaanite or did he just live in the land of Canaan? I mean, I lived in I live in Florida for most of my life. Born in Kentucky, lived in Germany, lived in Colorado, lived in Tennessee. When I lived in Tennessee, would you have called me a Tennessean? Or a Coloradoan when I lived there? How about a Floridian? I've lived in Florida most of my life. Oh, well, I went into the Army. Uh, I was at Fort Knox, Kentucky. And the drill sergeant says, yeah, when you guys get a, a, a three-day pass, you can check out Bob Walker here. He, he was born here. He can show you around, you know, when you go to town. I, I was like, sergeant, um, yeah, if we go down to Miami, I can show everybody around. I says, I was born here, but <laughs> I don't know anything about Kentucky other than Churchill Downs and fast horses and bourbon whiskey. I mean, that's the only things I knew about Kentucky. Well, in Fort Knox, which uh, was really uh, not exactly my favorite place at the time. But uh, yeah, so, you know, that's the thing. It's about Simon was called a Canaanite, but you don't see where his bloodlines trace back to Canaan. Genesis, uh, was it six, seven, eight, something like that. Noah cursed Canaan. Think about it. Can you imagine that? His own grandfather cursed Canaan. So, and if you don't uh, believe what I'm telling you here, I got a whole playlist, about six to eight, ten hours. By the time you get through with it, you'll say, wow, I've gone to church for 20 years and they never taught that stuff. Well, of course not. They work for the enemy for the most part. And let's face it, most people, they just want to, one verse, John 3, 16, God loved the world, and that's it. You know, they just don't, uh, 
They want you to believe in the Lord just enough to throw money in the collection plate, but they don't want you to study. They don't want you asking them questions that they don't want to answer or can't answer because they're ignorant. They don't have Bible knowledge or ask questions that contradict what the lies that they're teaching, you know, that or and especially don't want to see you have a change of life and be filled with the spirit they absolutely that's to them is the most dangerous thing in the whole world to them but one thing i do know when the mask finally comes off and the persecution starts people will probably, some people will finally wake up and they will, there will be a revival among the remnant. And I'm just hoping I'm around to see it. I don't know what the Lord has planned for me. I had a dream I was in the tribulation. I was in, the, um, in a, an abandoned, I think an abandoned house. It could have been somebody's house. I don't know. But we were in a room looking out the window, and there's the woods, the wilderness. And we were trying to get out of the, the house into the wilderness, but there were drones all over the place flying around. We didn't, couldn't take the chance of them seeing us. There was like, I don't know, three, four, maybe five or six of us. A small group, maybe four of us. I don't remember the exact number, but... We kept thinking, you know, we got to get out of here. They're looking for us. And then I woke up. I don't know if that was just overactive imagination or if the Lord was showing me something. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was an overactive imagination. So, all right, people. Just, you know, I thought I'd give you a warning about uh, the thing. You know, these, uh, oh, and just so you know, the is Ray and lies, is Ray lies, um, created one of these vaccinations and they gave it to the Russians because they didn't want uh, the uh, Muslims to know where it came from. I was reading an article in the Jerusalem Post. You know, you can learn a lot reading their newspapers. Yeah. I read a lot of international news. England, uh, English language newspapers overseas. Sometimes they have stuff on what's going on that you never hear about in our papers over here or our news sources. But, uh, yeah, they did this so that the uh, Arabs would think, oh, it, it's coming from the Russians. And the Russians are, you know, on a somewhat friendly terms with many of the uh, Arabs. But what people don't know is who was behind communism from the very beginning. And, uh, and if anybody thinks communism died in Russia, they're fools. Uh, Putin, there's an article in the Jerusalem Post about Putin's rabbi. Okay, Putin has his own personal rabbi. And he was a colonel in the KGB, which is the equivalent of the uh, can you see I A? Yeah. So, you know, you don't become a colonel in the KGB by being a nice guy and being a dummy. No. And his English is very good. This guy is well-educated. He's been trained for years. So, so whoever sent me that uh, USB thing from Amazon, let me know who you are. Also, um, I got an important Bible study coming out after this. It'll be short. Well, maybe. I don't know. I might be lying to you. I've covered it the same information before, but uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be allowed to be on tube. Like I say, they've deleted four of my videos in one day, and I'm shocked I'm still even on 
uh, I'm online. I, I really am. Of course, I do a video. I get 138 views. whoop de doo you know. But that's all right. You know, I'm not here to be rich and famous, you know. The bank came and repossessed my Bentley. And, uh, yeah, and my Learjet. So what can I tell you? All righty. Yeah, maybe Benny Hill, Hino, Hino buy it. So, all right. Take care, buddy. Um, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen.